In this video, we're going to do a profit maximization problem when given a production function. So a firm uses two inputs, x1 and x2, to produce a good that is described by the following production function. So the firm's output q is a function of input 1 and input 2, and its specific, specific functional form looks like this. The firm sells its output at $80 per unit, so price P equals $80. The cost of input 1 is $4 a piece, and the cost of input 2 is $2 a piece. We want to solve for the profit maximizing input mix, profit maximizing output level, and find what the firm's actual profit would be. So step 1 is to just set up a profit function. Profit, as usual, is just total revenue minus total cost, where total revenue is price times quantity. The price is $80. What is the quantity? The quantity is just going to be our production function. So I make that substitution in here for the quantity, price times quantity. And we're going to subtract out the cost. The cost of input 1 is the price of the input times the number of units of input 1 that the firm uses. And likewise, the cost of input 2 will give, be given by 2 times the quantity of input 2. Moving on. So now we're going to just maximize that profit equation that we ended the last slide with by taking a couple partial derivatives. Take the partial derivative of the profit function with respect to input 1. So I'm going to bring this 1 half down. Um, from the exponent on input 1. So 1 half times 80 is where this 40 is coming from. Then uh, for this input 1, it's 1 half. It's going to be then minus 1 to finish up the derivative. So input 1 will be raised to the minus 1 half power. Don't have to do anything with input 2. That's treated as a constant here. And then finally, uh, we're going to take the derivative of partial derivative of minus 4 times input 1, which is just minus 4. We're maximizing, so we set this partial derivative equal to 0. And I'm just going to call this equation A. OK, taking the partial derivative of the profit function with respect to input 2, we get this result. So I bring down this 1 fourth <coughs> on the exponent here of input 2. So 80 multiplied by 1 fourth is just 20. And then on the exponent here of input 2, it's 1 fourth minus 1 leaving us with the input 2 raised to the minus 3 fourths power. And then finally, the partial derivative of minus 2 times input 2 is just minus 2, setting that result equal to 0. And we'll call this equation B. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to basically have two equations and two unknowns. I'm going to solve equation A for x subscript 1 input 1. So just first moving 4 over to the right-hand side, we get this. And now following the rules of exponents here, I'm going to move input 1 into the denominator. And then I'm going to multiply both sides through by input 1 here, uh, raised to the 1 half power. So we get this result. And if we divide through by 4, 40 divided by 4 is 10. And now I'm going to just square both sides to get rid of this 1 half term over here. So 10 squared gives us 100. And then input 2 now, uh, because we're squaring that, will be raised to the 1 half power. We're going to plug this equation into B over here. So where I have uh, input 1, I am plugging in this result right here. And then simplifying that. So the square root of 100 is 10. So 10 times 20 is 200. And then input 2 raised to the 1 half power multiplied here. Uh, I'm just going to multiply these exponents here, 1 half and 1 half. We get 1 fourth and leaving everything else unchanged for a moment. Rewriting that result. Adding up these exponents on input 2 gives us this result. 
following the rules of exponent, bringing input 2 down into the denominator, and then multiplying through by x raised to the 1 half power, dividing through by 2, and now finally squaring both sides. We will use 10,000 units of input 2. We, on the last slide, found input 1 equals this result, so making a substitution of 10,000 in here for input 2 and simplifying. We will also get 10,000 for input 1. The firm's output at this input mix here, so just plugging 10,000 in for input 1 and input 2. The firm will produce 1,000 units of output, and its profit will be total revenue, $80 times 1,000 units, minus the total cost, 4 times 10,000 units of input 1, and $2 times 10,000 units of input 2, simplifies to a profit of 20,000. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.